Hey guys, happy Sunday. So this weekend I had my first ever Hertz Donuts. So um, they were very delicious and I don't know why I've never gone before. We just never have. So I'm curious if you guys have had Hertz Donuts before. I don't even know, is it just an Iowa thing or is it everywhere? I have no idea. Um, this week we're going to try something new again. Um, so last week we worked, the last couple weeks we've done the combined shipping and so we're going to do the combined shipping again. However, um, I'm going to just start making Fridays are the days that I will send out shipping invoices. That way if I do a lunch break sale on Tuesday or Thursday, that gives everybody time to watch the video on replay if they need to so that they can put items into their combined shipping box. Also, if you find something on the website that you want, you can always just message me and say, hey Brooke, I want you to add this to my box. So that is another option that a few people have been taking advantage of, but that way we can do that combined shipping because a lot of times if you have, you know, three things together, it's gonna cost the same to ship as it would just the one thing. Um, so that's what we're gonna do this week. Tuesday is when I will be having my lunch break sale, um, and Friday we will do shipping. So if you need something ASAP, just tell me that in a message and I can of course ship it out for you um, tomorrow, but otherwise we will wait and do combined shipping on Friday. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first we have this feeder, it's just a glass feeder. Um, it's $12 here in the middle it says patent and then it says like some numbers um, This would be something you could put beside your sink put your rings in it when you're washing dishes Which I have found a lot of people like to do and I think they're crazy. I would rather put it in the dishwasher and <laughs> Wash it twice than wash it by hand, but hey, that's me um, So you could do something like that you could put some moss and eggs in it for Easter, um, you know, all sorts of ideas or just hang it up with a command strip and put it on the wall. So $12 for the glass chicken feeder. So how it works, if you haven't seen a Sunday sale or a lunch break sale before, um, what you're going to do is just comment sold and the item. So sold and chicken feeder. And then if I don't already have your email address and zip code, then you're going to want to send that to me just in a message. And then I will invoice you tonight for the item. And then Friday I'll get shipping calculated. So this is a DIY um, nest that I made. And so this one is $6 and um, message uh, or, or comment sold and nest if you are interested in that. Then I got a couple of green pottery pieces last week or the week before that. This is kind of like a, oh, a beehive shape I think is what they were calling it. It is, uh, says urn vase at the bottom, but it is stamped hull for 18. And uh, this is $20, so $20 on the whole vase. Then we have this little amber bottle. Um, it still has white residue in it of whatever um, it had. I haven't got it. Um, into the sink yet and then it does have a marking on the bottom I don't know what brand that is and you can't see it either I don't know if that's helping or not but it's basically like a circle with like an eye through it and it has number seven six with it um, but five dollars on the little amber bottle then I grabbed another um, Parker ink bottle. I got a ton of these. This one is also a uh, brown. I think Saturday sale I had a brown one as well. This one does have liquid in it. Um, this is just dust. It does have liquid in it. The other one I had was um, all dried up. The liquid in it is to right about there. And this one has a nice, um, Oh, lid on it. The other one was um, a little bit rustier. So $15 on the Parker Quink um, brown 
ink bottle. Okay, I think that I'm getting nervous. If somebody wants to say hi so I can see that comments are working, that would be wonderful. We've got this little um, square mirrored, um, has feet on it. You could put your jewelry in it, set it on your um, vanity or your dresser. Um, you could put this beside your sink and set your jewelry in it. You can stand it up and put it like this on a shelf, but uh, just a little mirrored metal tray, just a different style than those rectangular ones. All right, no one's saying hi to me, so that tells me that comments are not working tonight. So just know that I can't see anything that you say. Um, I'll go back after this video gets posted and it'll just be whoever's first on my list. If they want something, then I that's who gets it. And then I will just click like on it. And then if you're second in line, I will um, say second in line. So it works the same way. You just can't hear me say so-and-so has it. So $15 on the little mirrored tray. Okay, then we have some rusty crusty um, hinges. These are rusted, they are not going, well this one will bend a little bit. This one I cannot get to bend any and I don't think the white one I can get to bend any. This one has white chippy paint on it. They're all smaller size, but things like this are good for embellishing. So I don't, well I have a board here, but let's pretend this is a, a board or a door. You could screw this in like that and then you could hang um, your item from the other end of the hinge. Um, the other thing is just screwing it in on something like patch. It would hold two pieces together. So just so, kind of some fun embellishment. So on the three hinges, it's $5. So $5 on the three little hinges. Okay, then we have a pipe which half the time when I get on here, I call it a cigar. I do know it's a pipe. I just don't, words don't always come out of my mouth accurately. So it does have, I don't know, what is that? D-O maybe on it. And it's just a brown like porcelain um, cigar. $10 on the cigar. Okay, then we have just a cut glass um, bowl. Not sure what the pattern is. It is $10. Um, in good condition. I don't remember seeing anything, but I'm checking again. It's got dirt in it from whatever I had in it. So $10 on this. Give you an idea of size since I don't have my tape measure right here. Okay, then we've got a Farm Fresh oil can. Um, this one is unique because maybe you've seen these before, but the spout moves like this. I've never um, had one that is like that before. So that's neat. It says Huffman 5 quart liquid. This is Farm Fresh, so it's still got a little bit of dirt on it. It has not been sealed or anything. You could easily spray coat it uh, with a clear coat of sealer. Um, it is does have some dents. It's not like in perfect condition or anything. And then it's got a nice little um, handle here. There's a stopper kind of at the bottom. Um, but this would just be something neat to put up, put out on your shelf. You could use it as a vase or just use it as is. You could hang it um, from the handle. It is pretty tall, okay? So the Huffman um, oil can is 40, better double check myself, is $45. So $45 on the Huffman oil can. And then we have the smaller one, which is a half gallon. And this one uh, brand is Brookins. It says Cincinnati, Ohio on it. This one is a little bit smaller and again, farm fresh. It hasn't been sealed or anything. And this um, spout would have been flexible and it is obviously broken off. So you're just getting it as is. And this one is smaller 
and is $25. So Huffman is 45, Brookins is 25. Okay, I had a couple of just um, scraps of wood and these are just chippy white. They have not been sealed, but they would be great to just add a little sawtooth hanger on the back, hang it on the wall, put a wreath on it. You could turn it this way and do something similar. You could put a simply said on it. Um, you could put it on your table just flat and use this as a just layering and have this be a centerpiece. Um, so lots of repurposing options on this chippy white board, $10. This is board number one. So make sure you clarify board number one. Um, this one has a crack like right here. There is a crack right there and there are some old nail holes down here. So board number one, $10. And then this one has a little bit of cracking right here. You can see that. And then it has some nail holes as well. Um, so board number two is also $10. So board number one and board number two. Okay, then we have another architectural salvage piece. This one has new paint on it. Um, you could use it either way. You could put a plate on it. You could put a cloche on it. You could put a wood chunk on it. Um, you could leave it just like this. Um, so lots of options on how you could repurpose this piece of architectural salvage. It is $30, so $30 on this round piece of architectural salvage. Okay, then we have this Cokesbury worship hymnal. It is a soft cover. Um, it is orange. Just normal hymnal. $5 on that. So for those of you who are just joining us, I can't see comments tonight. So just know that when this gets over, I will go back and look and it'll just go in order of whoever has commented that they want something first. So Georgina, what is it even? Georgina finds this one is five dollars. Jeannie, Jenny Mitchell. This is another one that I really like the pages because they're darker and they're like irregularly cut. So Georgina finds herself is $5. And then I grabbed another book. This one is Indoors and Out. Its cover has seen a little bit better days. If we can get the lighting to cooperate and not be so bright. But it is also $5. So $5 on the Indoor and Out. The red one. Okay, then I grabbed another feed sack. Um, this one is still stitched together and it's actually probably inside out, but it's just a plain. You can see the stitching would really be on the inside, but you can make this be a pillow. You can cut it and use it as a seat cover. You can stamp or stencil anything onto it that you would like so that you can make it say what you want. And the plain feed sack is $5. So $5 on the plain, plain feed sack. Okay, then this is new. This is just basically feather garland. Um, these are in gold, uh, gold color and it is $9. So $9 and you just have all these feathers strung together. You can um, drape them over your window. You could put them down the centerpiece of um, your table and on a gallery wall or over a mirror in your bathroom. You could dangle them on that as well. So $9 on the feathers that are new. Then we've got a watering can and this one is nice because it has a nice big spout on it. 
the spout I would say is not coming off. I tried a little bit. Um, it doesn't really need to come off because it's in great condition. This is um, mark number 10 and the handle on it is a blue um, bale handle. This one is farm fresh as well. So it hasn't been um, given a bath. It's still not sealed anything like that. So on the watering can, it is $40. So $40 on the watering can. Okay, then we have a silver candlestick holder. This one is a pretty fat one. Um, and again, you can take your Easter eggs and put them on the candle. This is a little small egg for the candlestick, but See if I can get the lighting to do adjust. Um, but just a normal candlestick, $15 on this one. You can put the moss balls on it. You can glue a, a little uh, saucer to it to make yourself a little platform. So $15 on the silver candlestick. Okay, then I have a ton of these eggs. And that one looks blue on camera, which is crazy because it's actually cream. So I don't know why it's doing that, but I have a whole bunch of these eggs and they're all a dollar. There's some yellow. There's the one with the rose on it. That's actually yellow. It's so weird. It's looking green on there. There's blue, there's purple, there's pink. Um, and this one is kind of uh, marbled effect, which you're not going to be able to see, I don't think. There. Um, so if you're interested in any of those, those are a dollar. And then you might know that I a lot of times talk about putting moss or something in your things. This is just that textured yarn um, in green. It makes great grass because it's soft. It's not messy. It doesn't like shed like moss does a lot of times. Then we've got a couple of these smaller ones. Darn camera. And I've got purple, a little orange one, a little yellow one, and those are a dollar as well. So when we get done with this, I go put everything in stories so you can look at things um, that are that didn't sell live in a different way. And so I'll put pictures of these in whatever didn't sell, and then you can might probably be able to look at them a little bit easier. Then we also have this uh, candy dish, and it is $25. I think that it has a great shape. I have tons of these on my mantle. I have wooden spools in them. I have keys in them. I have books in them. Um, Scrabble letters in them. So you can do so many different things with all the little small things that you collect um, in those candy dishes. Okay, now we have a, a burlap sack that is ripped apart, has some holes. It's a ranch, rancho potato sack. It's got some pretty good graphics on it still, but it has been ripped open. So you're essentially getting a big, um, piece of burlap. So you could use it as a curtain. You could use it to put um, as a seat cover. You could just hang it to the, the wall, either with thumbtacks or clothespins. So the potato um, burlap sack is $5. And then we've got this little sack here that is the certified organic Heartland, um, Heartland Mill sack. Again, you could make it as a pillow. You could just fill it up and put it in your display. And it is $3. So $3 on the Heartland Mill little sack. Okay, we've got another piece of green pottery. This one has um, a little bit different uh, shape to it. Has some elevation. It is not stamped. So that first one was whole. This one is not stamped. So $15 on this green pottery vase. Then we have this Pyrex bowl. 
And again, the lighting is being terrible there. With the, I'm gonna call it a turquoise wheat um, image on it. It's Pyrex number 21. Um, if you can see any of that, I cannot on the camera there. Pyrex 21 in this bowl is $10, so $10 on that. And then this would have been an awesome piece if all of the markings were not off of it. Um, my buddy Wayne, who's always on here um, giving me a hard time, he actually recognized it as a tobacco tin. Um, and so the lid and the style, the shape of it is what gave it away to him. Um, and I can't remember, he showed me an original one and I can't remember what it would have said. So you can just faintly see some of the old markings on this. Um, it's just uh, surface rust. It has not been sealed or anything. I liked it just because of the rust. And then having this open, you could use it as um, a vase and stick some stuff in it. So $10 on what used to be a tobacco tin. So that one is a very lightweight. This one is much heavier and it has a marking on it here, Superior St. Paul 10 quart liquid sealed. So I think it was something with milk, but it's a lot thicker, heavier duty um, type of can, but it's $30. The lid does come off because it was off when I brought it in here. Um, so you could repurpose this you could set it in there and then have some fabric coming out of it or flowers coming out of it. Um, you could even, you know, have it on your counter and store your flour or sugar in there. Um, lots of options. Plus, because it has a flat surface, it gives you another space where you can display on top of it. Um, so nice for layering. So the St. Paul um, can is $30. Then we have this unique bowl, a uh, stoneware bowl. It's got a nice pattern with it. For some reason, having my hand up there helps with the lighting. It does have some cracking in it. You can see there. And it's stamped Bohemian on the bottom. So the Bohemian Bowl is $20 and there is also a chip right here. $20 on the Bohemian Bowl. Okay, then we have this uh, yellow dripware bowl. That's what I call it anyway, dripware. Um, on the bottom, it's newer because it's stamped oven proof, dishwasher proof, detergent proof, butterscotch, ironstone, Cannonsburg Pottery Company, USA, 19, either 57 or 67. So the butterscotch yellow dripware is $30. Okay. I grabbed another lid since you guys were liking the lids last week. I'm not sure what this one would have been from. It's very similar to the cream separator lid, but it doesn't have that strainer part here in the center. Um, but again, you could repurpose it. You could use it as a lid or use it as something else. But this one has a great shape to it. It's just a little bit different with all of these little textured spots. So $10 on the metal lid. Okay, next up we have a little girl um, picture. It's in a nice frame. On the back, it's stamped St. James, Missouri. And the little girl um, picture is $20. Okay, then I grabbed a green bottle. Um, I love these in a windowsill with the sun sh shining through so you can see the green. You can do a bunch of these in the middle of your table for spring. Um, $3 on the green bottle. 
or if you have a bottle tree, it's always great for that too. All right, so I sold the hanging, the last hanging scale that I had, but I still have a hanging scale basket. This one is like the one that I have. Um, so this would be used to weigh chickens. So you stick their head in there and then that way they can't move around. And it would be great too to stick flowers in there and have flowers trellising out. Um, or just, I'd normally just leave mine plain. But $60 on the cone shaped um, scale basket. Okay, then I have a little set of wheels. They're just plastic and red and $3. They could be mounted to something. So $3 on the little wheels. And then I'm selling these two little silver dishes together. So they would be $6 for the pair of silver dishes. These would be good for layering. They would be good to use a command strip and hang on the wall with a bunch of other silver platters. And then I found a couple of more little cups that you could hang like this. You could do some moss and an egg or moss and a bunny now that we're decorating for spring and Easter. And I'm selling the pair for $10 and they're just stamped if you can even see it japan at the bottom so little cups ten dollars okay then these go with a milk separator or milk um what's the word i'm looking for i don't even know something with milk um there's 10 of them so ten dollars on these little cone disc things I bought a bunch of them because I saw where they had um, mounted them onto a metal bike wheel. I don't even know how. And so they were all like this and then it was like a windmill kind of thing. But then we've never made one. So we've got 10 of these um, cones. You could put them on the table. You could do your um, bowling balls, your croquet balls, your moss balls, your eggs anything like that and that's gonna hold it in place. Um, so 10 of these for $10 and they are farm fresh, meaning they're dirty. Okay, now we have a um, base for a cloche. You could paint this and distress it if you didn't want to have the, looks like a water ring. It is $15, $15 on the cloche base. And then we've got this 18 fluid ounce amber bottle that says Dr. J Hostetter's Stomach Bitters. So this would be one that I would set on the shelf so that you could actually read it. Um, but it would look great with some flowers coming out of it. Put it in the middle of your table. It is $20. So $20 for the Stomach Bitters. Then we have a brass um, vase. It's got a little bit of um, embossed markings right there. Otherwise, it's got great patina. It's definitely aged, torn, tattered, and that looks like a dent in the camera, but it's just a, where the brass coating has come off. Um, at the bottom, it says Benedict and 103 and that's about all of the wording that I can read. So $20 on the brass vase. Okay, then we have some piano rolls. I grabbed five of them. Um, the Black Hawk Waltz, I don't know if they're actually the right thing in it. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. That one doesn't say anything. So the boxes are in different varying condition. The paper is all pretty old and fragile. Um, I have seen these where they will stencil like 
Noel and peace and stuff on them and use them as paper. You can use it as a centerpiece, um, like a table runner. You can um, just leave them rolled up and put them in a glass dish and don't even worry about the boxes. So there's lots of options on repurposing and it's just player piano rolls. So I'll unroll one far enough. And a lot of times they're gonna have like um, forte and you know, loud, soft, little descriptors along the side. So you're getting five piano rolls for $10. Five piano rolls, $10. And I do have more if anybody is interested in more. Okay, then we have some old advertising. Um, these are all from the Shoe Tree, which is up on the square in Centerville. I grabbed three of them. Um, before it was the shoe tree, it was lazy, lazy M days. No, lazy M shoes. So you're getting the three of these for six dollars, and they're all on like some cardstock uh, paper. So six dollars on the old shoe advertising. And then we've got an ice cream bucket here. Nice uh, surface rust on the brass things and somebody's put a Made in the USA sticker on it. Um, but you could easily um, whitewash this, distress this um, to change it up. The bottom is plastic, that thicker kind of plastic. And you could, um, oh, add some kind of twine to make a handle if you wanted to in the old holes. So $35 on the ice cream bucket. And then I've got one glass knob left and this one is $12. It does not have the other piece. Um, this is just the end knob. So $12 on that. All right, that should take us to everything tonight. Um, looks like it was a quick one, probably because I can't reply to anybody's comments tonight. So I will post this and then go back and look and see who got what. I will invoice you tonight for the item, but remember I'm gonna do a lunch break sale on Tuesday at noon, and then on Friday I will calculate all of the combined shipping and get you invoiced for shipping so we can get your stuff mailed out to you. So thanks for staying with me tonight, even though the comments were, were, weren't working, and have a good night.